Hi YouTube. Computers are everywhere. We use them all the time, be it for professional or personal work. And yet, the specifications of a computer are often neglected. For example, a CPU or a central processing unit is the brain of a computer and one of its most important parts. Naturally, choosing the right CPU is very important and can be a daunting task. Higher clock speeds and more cores contribute to a faster and a smoother running PC. In today's video, we will be helping you choose the right CPU. My name is Gokul and this is AIT. Let's begin. Hey Gokul, I'm planning to build a PC and looking for guidance regarding CPUs. Can you please help me out? Yeah, sure, more than happy to help. You know, computers fascinate me. So, what are you building this PC for? Well, my primary usage will be video editing, casual gaming and general web browsing. But does that even matter? Oh, it definitely matters. You don't want to be building a high-end PC with a powerful CPU for a simple task like web browsing or casual work. And at the same time, you don't want to build a low-end PC with a weak CPU for intensive tasks like video editing or hosting a server. It's pretty similar to buying a car. You wouldn't buy a Ferrari to commute from home to work, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, which brand should I go for? Well, when it comes to choosing brands for a CPU, it's not a very difficult choice as there are only two primary brands that manufacture CPU, Intel and AMD. Intel has been the king of CPUs for a long while, but since 2017, AMD launched the Ryzen series with better clock speeds and more cores. And now, they are on the same level of Intel, if not better. Well, you mentioned clock speeds and cores. Can you please explain? Yeah, sure. I'll try my best not to be too technical. Clock speeds are one of the most important criteria when purchasing a CPU. A clock speed is nothing but the rate at which a processor can complete a processing cycle. It is typically measured in gigahertz. 1 gigahertz equals 1 billion cycles per second. A higher frequency suggests a better performing system in common tasks such as gaming and creative video editing. Now let's move on to cores. A core is an individual processor within a CPU. So if we say that there is a CPU which has 4 gigahertz and 2 cores, what it means is that there are two cores that can perform at 4 gigahertz each. Modern CPUs have between 2 and 32 cores, with most of the processors containing 4 to 8. Each one is capable of handling its own individual tasks. Then the next topic is threads. Threads are basically virtual cores. Thread count is the number of individual application threads which can be executed simultaneously on the CPU itself. Each CPU core can have two threads, so a processor with two cores will have four threads. Finally, a cache is a hardware memory used by the CPU of a computer to reduce the average cost to access data from the main memory. A cache is smaller, faster memory located closer to a processor core which stores copies of the data from the frequently used main memory locations. Most CPUs have independent cache including instruction and data cache where the data cache is usually organized as a hierarchy of more cache levels. Thanks a lot for that Gokul. Um, you said earlier that these brands have many series of processors, right? Can you please help me choose one of them based on my requirements? Yeah, Intel and AMD you know, come out with a lot of processors every year. I'll try my best to keep it as simple as possible. So, the latest CPUs from AMD are the Ryzen 3000 series, while Intel has its 10th gen core series. For web browsing and casual work, we can use the Ryzen 3 or the Intel Core i3 series. These are the lower end CPUs from both the manufacturers. Moving on, for gaming, the Ryzen 5 or the Intel Core i5 will be more than sufficient. They have higher clock speeds and more number of cores as compared to Ryzen 3 or i3. Then, the Ryzen 7 or the Intel Core i7 series are used for creative media or overclocking. These CPUs are fast and have overhead for future computing tasks. They have much better clock speeds and cores as compared to the Ryzen 5 or the Core i5. Finally, the top of the line processors like Ryzen 9 or Core i9 are used for intensive tasks such as 3D rendering or 4K video editing. These are absolute beasts with the maximum number of cores and excel in extreme multitasking. Anything else I need to know? Well, 
there are more advanced stuff uh, but i'll list them out anyway tdp the thermal descent power of point is the maximum amount of heat generated by a cpu that the cooling system in a computer is designed to dissipate under any load this is usually measured in watts powerful cpus usually have higher tdps and will require capable power supplies to support it then we have the concept of overclocking overclocking is the action of increasing a component's clock rate running it at a higher speed than it was designed to run to overclock a cpu without crashing you need to have a good cooling system and a very good motherboard that can support overclocking this is something i would recommend only if you want to extract that extra performance out of your cpu then we have motherboard support this is a huge topic on its own and i will cover it in my next video we need to remember that amd and intel both have their own respective ecosystem and both the motherboards are not able to change finally i'll talk about future proofing i would always recommend that one tries to get the latest generation of cpus for example intel has its 10th gen core i series out and amd has its ryzen 3000 series there is no real value in actually purchasing a previous generation as it might be missing out on key features thanks a lot man that was a lot of good information I feel way more comfortable now. But I may reach out to you with more questions later on. I hope that's okay. Sure, you can reach out to me on my channel through the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. But keep looking out for the space because this is one of the many videos on how to build a PC.